This was uh, published uh, a while back in a horror humor magazine that is now that is now defunct. It's called "They Got Off Welfare." Why can't you? Two success stories. Sharon McKibben, 22 years old, one child. Welfare was a way of life in our family. Mom was on it as far long as I can remember. Grandma was too. So when I had Chuck in my last year of high school, it was almost automatic that I went on the county. But it wasn't much of a life. I got hostile looks whenever I went to the grocery store and paid with food stamps. Exasperated people would ask, right while I was in line, why don't you work for your money like everybody else? When I tried to explain that I had a baby to take care of, they'd say contemptuously, you made your kid, lady. The taxpayer didn't. Just about every time I turned on the TV or radio, I heard someone condemning welfare as a dead end. It got to me. I knew it was true. After all, my mom and grandmother had done nothing with all their lives except scape, scrape by. But what may have been most important factor was that little voice inside of me telling me, you can do better. So I looked for work, and let me tell you, it wasn't easy. I finally found this job. The hours are long, but hard work never killed anyone. Plus, I'm one of the few women in this field, so maybe that makes me a role model for others. Transporting crack cocaine pays well, but I'm not getting rich. I'm a clocker, you understand, not a dealer. At least not yet. But I've got Chuck and decent after-school daycare. I'm paying my bills on time. No one gives me dirty looks or makes snide remarks when I go to the grocery store. And most importantly, I'm not sponging off the government. James Galagos, father of two. I've got to admit I wasn't a very responsible father for a good while. It's not that I didn't care. I was a regular guy with payments and visits both when I had that $15 an hour factory work. But the plant shut down. When I couldn't find anything else, I got a job cooking at a McDonald's. I would have stayed there, too, except the kid's mother had to go on AFDC, and they got the law after me because I wasn't paying child support. I tried to explain that I couldn't help it. I was making minimum wage, for God's sake, but they threw me in jail for six months. But when I got out, I had learned my lesson. Like the judge said, you fathered those kids, so you're responsible for them no matter what. They can't eat excuses. I made some contacts when I was in jail. A friend helped me get started as a burglar. I've had to learn to concentrate, and sometimes I feel like I'm back in school. Houses that are good to rob have security, so you have to know how to disable all different types of locks and alarms. The work does have its drawbacks. I've been busted a couple of times, but the first case got thrown out. The other is still pending, but I'm not too worried about it since I've got the bread for a good lawyer these days. After all, I spent a couple of hours in the can for burglary, but as an irresponsible father, I was in for half a year. The important thing is I'm making my kids support payments and they're off welfare, so they've got their pride back. I ought to visit them more. That's a father's duty, too. But you can't expect perfection overnight.